so hello my dear friends so uh, we have completed a uh, designing robot the basic robot on copelia sim education version software so we have enabled uh, this robot uh, to move in a stable manner now uh, we uh, the next uh, uh, part of uh, your syllabus is to design a robot such that it can sense a hurdle and change its path so for that uh, uh, we need to create some hurdles here so let us uh, do that uh, first and uh, we need to just add as we have added uh, in previous uh, uh, video we will add some some shapes so let us say uh, cylinder so let us make it uh, 0 0.01 then it can be 2 height could be a uh, little larger so this uh, cylinder has come here now we can shift its position and shifting uh, is easy here we have selected the cylinder now we uh, will just go to this position tab and now uh, we can just drag this cylinder from here so we can place it here okay uh, now we can copy this so let me just change the uh, view so that it could be easily um, visualized. So we can just copy this control C and just control V again. Uh, so just go to the this uh, translation tab, position tab and shift, drag and shift. Just uh, drag this cylinder to a different position again uh, we can copy this control c and control v so next cylinder is there uh, the position tab is um, enabled now we can drag this and put it here so again we can control c control v and now again we can drag it in here uh, so again let us do the same step and just putting another cylinder these are hurdles uh, so uh, we'll just test this robot to sense this hurdle okay so I just uh, would like to shift this one a bit more. Hmm. So that it is in front of this logo. Okay, it is fine. Now this, uh, these, all these uh, uh, cylinder uh, should have one property that uh, go to this uh, common uh, and uh, we need to make it collidable, measurable and detectable. So we need to do uh, this for the all the objects and another thing is that uh, it should be steady so it should not be a dynamic body dynamic body moves but uh, we don't need this hurdle to be to be movable so we will uncheck this box and then we can move forward so uh, now we have to repeat this for all the cylinder so what I will do, I will just uh, uh, delete uh, all this and again I, I we will copy. So that is an easy part. So we can copy again. Okay, so just click uh, Ctrl C, V, uh, click on the position tab and just shift it a bit. Okay, just again Ctrl C, V again just will uh, have a little less than what we have previous. previously let us have five cylinders not more than that okay so now it is done so all these uh, uh, cylinders are having the same property as the first one it has been copied now uh, uh, we need to add one uh, uh, one more sensor uh, that is a vision sensor 
which can uh, which can just uh, 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 visualize uh, these uh, uh, these hurdles so for that uh, we need just need to add this vision sensor and uh, this will be perspective type let us have this and then uh, uh, we can uh, just change the properties here we can make uh, change its uh, pixel 256 256 um, then uh, okay fine okay this is enough uh, okay this is enough so just what we need to do we need to just align this vision sensor uh, with the proximity sensor so that it can visualize uh, it's like a camera so it can see uh, the hurdles okay so what we will do we will just align this with the sensing nodes okay so same step uh, just to go on this position tab so apply to selection uh, then uh, we will also copy the orientation part so we can do this uh, apply to selection now you can see uh, it is in the same direction okay so uh, now the sensing nose will be the parent one and we will just connect the visual sensor to the uh, sensing node and sensing uh, sensing nose will be our uh, parent object okay so uh, till here uh, um, it is fine now uh, we can just uh, we can have uh, this uh, uh, eye scope related to vision sensor just uh, um, select this vision sensor now we can uh, uh, just add uh, one floating view a screen type floating view so this uh, floating view, uh, view will give uh, uh, the camera view which we have connected uh, uh, on this robot so what you need to do just right click on this floating view and then uh, view on view and just you can select this one associated view with selected vision sensor so just uh, do it and then uh, we can just uh, uh, do the simulation part and you can see uh, okay so this has stuck with this hurdle but you can see the uh, vision sensor is uh, just showing uh, the camera view okay so it is fine till here if this is uh, working then we can move forward uh, now uh, we can also measure the distance uh, of this robot uh, uh, from this hurdle for that we can uh, just add one graph to it so there is also provision of a graph so you can add a graph like this one so this graph uh, uh, you can uh, just attach this graph to the bubble rock so uh, making this as to be the parent go to edit make last selector of the option as to be the parent so we have got connected the whole uh, apparatus is there now uh, to just uh, uh, make it uh, a smart robot that can uh, sense the hurdle it can see the hurdle it can measure the distance uh, from the hurdle uh, but uh, we need to uh, just uh, means program this uh, robot that if it senses the hurdle then it should uh, just change its direction of uh, of movement so for that uh, we can uh, just add uh, some python codes to this and uh, for doing that uh, i have written some uh, uh, python code so uh, these you can just uh, copy from here uh, i will also uh, this uh, you can find uh, 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 these files i will uh, cop uh, provide you in a 
in a in a drive and that drive uh, link will uh, be pasted in the description box so you can go and uh, just avail that those files and you can just uh, go on with uh, uh, designing this robot so for that uh, you need to select the vision sensor first of all you know, and uh, just right click it add uh, add one uh, hmm, associated child script so it should be non threaded and let us do python okay so uh, what we can do uh, you just uh, double click this icon so here uh, we will have uh, we can write some programs so uh, what we need to do uh, just uh, this we will copy this and paste it there okay Okay, and then uh, we also need to uh, just add uh, one script to this bubble rob. So in bubble rob, uh, also we need to do the same step. Add add one program which makes it uh, uh, a hurdle sensing robot. So here we can write the program. So this is. The program uh, so just uh, we can copy this in here. So we have added uh, our uh, script to the robot. Uh, the script that can enable this robot to sense the hurdle and change its path. So uh, just for a review, uh, what we have done, we have just uh, uh, put some uh, hurdles into our uh, simulation and added one vision sensor to the robot. Uh, then uh, got a uh, got a, um, a scope to view the camera pictures, and then we have got one uh, distance plotter uh, so that it can plot the distance between the robot and the hurdles. Uh, and then we added some codes uh, to make it uh, sense the hurdle and change its path. So let us uh, run this. So, okay, so it sense the hurdle and change its path. Now it can go because now it is not sensing any hurdle. So this is fine. We can add one more sl uh, cylinder as well. If you want, uh, just uh, position tab, uh, go on to position tab. So we can make this blender here. Okay, it will do. Now again, run this. Now just see, senses the first hurdle, then senses the second hurdle, then again took a uh, about turn and then. It just goes on. Just uh, you need to see that uh, this proximity sensor should uh, sense the hurdle. Then only uh, this robot uh, changes its direction. So this is it. Uh, this is our uh, robot, a uh, hurdle detecting robot. And you can practice this uh, uh, by your own now. Uh, thank you for uh, just. Uh, seeing this video and i will make uh, the third video for uh, line following robot so till then goodbye and please uh, like and subscribe the channel thank you